This tutorial is for fourth grade, module four, lesson three. In lesson three, we're looking at perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect at a point and form right angles. In the first section, we're going to look at these objects and trace lines that appear to be perpendicular. So in my first drawing, I have some lines, and I believe that these lines here would make that right angle, so they would be perpendicular. In the brick wall or chimney, whatever this is, I can look at the corners as being made from perpendicular lines. On my clock, the hands would be considered perpendicular because they make that right angle. On my piece of paper, a corner of the paper would be formed by perpendicular lines. Uh, there are a lot of perpendicular lines on the picket fence, so you can see if I follow this line and this line, they make that right angle. And the two crossbars on the kite would be perpendicular lines. In this shape, this upper corner would be made from perpendicular lines because it makes a right angle. And on my football, the cross laces here could be made with perpendicular lines because they also form a right angle. So again, perpendicular lines are lines that create a right angle when they intersect. In the next section, I was given two grids and each grid had a black line segment drawn on it and I needed to draw a line that was perpendicular to the line segment. So the first grid was pretty easy to do. I could just follow one of those lines because they make perpendicular lines by themselves. This grid was a little bit harder because I'm at an angle, so I had to choose a point that would give me a perpendicular line when I look at it at an angle. So it's a little bit trickier on the triangle paper, but you can find a point and draw that line to make the right angle. In my last section, I need to identify perpendicular lines that make those right angles if the shapes have perpendicular lines. The first one has been done for us. It says that line segment AB is perpendicular to BD. So here's line segment AB and here's line segment BD and where they intersect they create a right angle. So this is how I would write that. I'd identify line segment AB and line segment BD and put the perpendicular sign between them. If I move across to shape B, each of these angles is opened up wider than a right angle, so all of the angles are obtuse, so none of the line segments would be perpendicular. So this shape does not have any perpendicular lines. In my triangle, I can see that this is a right angle in this corner, so this line segment and this line segment form perpendicular lines. So that would be line segment EF for this line segment and line segment EG for the other line segment. And again we'll put the perpendicular sign in between the two. And in my last shape it's an oval. There are no right angles, no straight sides whatsoever, so there are no perpendicular lines in that shape. 